Breaking news from City Hall and a bombshell announcement from Mayor Rahm Emanuel during a news conference just moments ago. He announced he will not be seeking a third term. CBS 2's Brad Edwards is following this breaking story. He joins us live in the newsroom. Brad, good morning. Good morning to you, Aaron, and good morning, Marissa. This is indeed a bombshell. From the fifth floor of City Hall this morning, the announcement was just made. And that announcement is that the mayor, Rahm Emanuel, dropped no hints about his decision when he greeted students arriving for the first day of school. Uh, but in his news conference, he praised what he's accomplished and admitted uh, this appears to be from something else. But uh, we as much as I love this job and will always love this city and its residents, I've decided not to seek reelection. This has been the job of a lifetime, but it is not a job for a lifetime. You hire us to get things done and pass the torch when you've done our best to do what you hired us to do. Again, uh, the mayor dropping a bombshell this morning just about 15 minutes ago that he is not going to seek re-election. This is him at a school earlier today where he made no hints at this decision. Uh, we do know as the trial, though, is likely to get underway of Chicago police officer Jason Van Dyke. Rahm's, of course, ratings dropped, his approval ratings dropped to record lows in the low 20s after the release of that video, the shooting death of Laquan McDonald 16 times uh, in 2015. Now we are going to go to the mayor again. He got emotional and part of that announcement he just made a short time ago on the fifth floor of City Hall. Uh, let's take a listen. Maybe we do not have that video right now. Of course, the mayor assumed office in 2011, two terms, fully expected, at least many onlookers did, that he would get a third term if he indeed ran. The expectation was that he indeed was going to run, that it was full steam ahead, despite having a, a bevy of challengers, including Paul Vallis, uh, former Superintendent Gary McCarthy, Lori Lightfoot, and others, to name a few. But as it was expected, at least, uh, the mayor would surely make it through the first round, uh, into the second round, likely get a third term. So this is a bombshell. This is still developing today, where, of course, gathering things right now. This happened just before the newscast, so sorry that the, we weren't so nuanced and delicate here. Yeah, in the it's all right, Brad. Um, that's okay. Marissa. I do want to talk about um, some of the candidates. This is There's so much to unpack here, not yeah. only about the candidates who now essentially have a new sort of um, playing field, but also the mayor's timing on this with the Jason Van Dyke trial, the Chicago Police Department, the state that they're in right now, along with the Chicago Public Schools. What's your what's your take on that? Do you just do you get the sense that maybe it was just a little too much and he's ready just to walk away? Well, I get the sense and I think the initial and again, Marissa, good question, but this is a knee jerk reaction because we do have a lot to unpack here. But this is about to happen now. We are on the verge of jury selection tomorrow in the Jason Van Dyke case, of course, accused of uh, shooting and killing Laquan McDonald. Uh, 16 shots and a cover up was the rallying cry. Uh, for, for so many over the past two years. That trial is now going to take place. This happening on the eve of jury selection in that case, one has to believe uh, that that's not coincidence. One has to believe that the state of violence in the city, one has to believe that consent decrees, one has to believe uh, what's happening on the south and west sides, uh, has to believe that those things are all uh, really coming to a head with this decision. And you look at some of his main challengers, uh, Lori Lightfoot, uh, the former superintendent, Gary McCarthy, all are making uh, crime, protection, city violence, uh, kind of their headline issue uh, going in to this showdown with the mayor. So one has to think that that is uh, playing a role, but still stunning as to this happening uh, the morning after Labor Day. Uh, who's not just getting their bearings uh, after the long weekend on a Tuesday morning? And this to happen on the fifth floor of City Hall uh, this morning. 
uh, completely unexpected, uh, even to some of those in the know. I was just talking with a, a couple of my people on the phone, and um, whom I would consider insiders, at least insiders of City Hall, who are typically in the know. Uh, one didn't even know this was happening uh, until I called them. So there wasn't uh, a lot of, I don't think, scripting to this and, and it, not as if these people would usually already have a bottled and packaged sure. up and statement Brad, for me so and that's not let's happening. Let's ask the next question then because I think a lot of people are going to be really curious. We know Mayor Rahm Emanuel is somebody who likes to be a power broker. He's worked for President Clinton, President Obama. He has the largest campaign war chest right now. What's next for him? Do you think he goes quietly into the night or is he going to be seeking another office? Um, I would presume uh, and again, this is just from knowing insiders, is Rahm Emanuel is a man who liked to be in control. And he liked to have really things to control. And he likes to be the man on top. So this decision is, is stunning, uh, first and foremost. But I, I would imagine this is certainly not the last we hear. And Beyond that, uh, there is still going to be a lengthy amount of time he serves. He serves out as, as this battle will now happen between these other players uh, to get his post in yeah. the mayor of the city of Chicago. And still, uh, despite this decision, he will likely be the focus of the campaign, um, even though he's not running. He will be the focal point, certainly, point, of the Brad. mayoral election. Yeah. There's so much. There's so much to unpack with this. Um, yeah. Obviously, a surprise announcement. Phone this ringing morning. from City Hall just now. If yeah. we have anything more, I'll let you know. Yeah, that's great, Brad. We'll check back with you in a bit. Thank mm -hmm. you. And let's hear one more time from the mayor this morning from that announcement. Politicians always say they're going to leave public office to spend more time with their family. My children were smart enough to see that coming and they scattered to the two coasts. So as of the other day, we are empty nesters. Amy and I are still young, and Amy still looks it. We look forward to writing the next chapter in our journey together. I, always, I will always be here for the future of this great city. Not as mayor, but in the most important role anyone can play as a citizen. You know, I'm unusual. Say, I'm surprised. Yeah. I am really surprised that he's not seeking a third term. I am too. And, you know, it's not surprising to see the mayor emotional. He gets emotional quite a bit, but is surprising to A, see his wife, mm -hmm. Amy Rule, and then also to see her get emotional about this because clearly this was a decision they came to together. A family decision. Absolutely yeah. a family decision. We're going to have much more on the mayor's announcement coming up on our news at 5 and, of course, on our website.